What's up, Homestead Homies? This is Dr. with Doug and Stacy, and I'm Stacy. And today I'm taking a break right now from some other stuff. Really, there's never a break when you're on the homestead, but I'm taking a little break and I'm stringing up some cayenne peppers. <laughs> Okay guys, so I am stringing up my cayenne peppers. Um, and I, this is like one of my favorite things to do because cayenne pepper is my favorite herb. It is the herb of the year, we'll link that above because um, we did a video on that. But cayenne is awesome. And what I do is I like to string mine up. You just need a needle and thread. And then what's good about when, in, when you thread these, you wanna use the little top, the little cap that they have on top, the green part, and that's where you're gonna thread it through. And then you're gonna make sure you got a little space between each one. And what's really good is the way they are on here, when you hang them up, they usually do separate pretty good. And um, you're gonna hang them in your kitchen, someplace where you, you can, they can dry nicely and uh, make sure you don't have any bugs or anything around. And I generally, let these go about a month until they get kind of crunchy. And um, when they get done in about a month, I'm going to mash them up. And um, I use a pestle and mortar. You know, you can grind them up more if you want or just, you know, however you want it. And then this has got something else in it. But generally, I'll get these things at the dollar store, you know, the little shakers that you use for like Parmesan cheese. And what I'll do is you can get one of these and use it and shake it on your food when you're eating it. And um, I just really look forward to my cayenne every year. So um, just thought you guys would come along and check out me stringing my cayennes. And if you guys aren't doing it, definitely do it because when those cayennes start producing, it's one of those things where it's like, what am I gonna do with all these? You know, you might eat a few or put them in your cooking and then the rest of them, it's like, what do you do with them? Or you give them to friends? Because I know when it comes to these kind of hot and spicy peppers, there's always so many that you don't use. Well, utilize them. I mean, I hang them up because when you powder them and, and you, you know, mash them up, you really think you could use a lot more. So if I've done this one last night, and just when I have, you know, a few minutes, I go ahead and do it. And then I'm gonna hang this on our candelabra. You can hang them up behind your sink or wherever and just let it go. And then that way, you can check them and feel them when they're ready and then when they're drying up then mash them up and then bottle them up and then you'll have seasoning so if you're not doing this go ahead and do it it's a great way to dry your herbs because i want you guys herbs are so healing and so powerful for the human body so the more you can get in your diet the better and especially if you grow them yourself on your farm or your home or your garden or, or you know if you have a pot or wherever go ahead and utilize those herbs don't just use them fresh all the time you can dry these out and use them so this is Upgrade with Doug and Stacey. I'll see you guys later. No one's getting upset. Hives aren't getting upset. I'm getting everything.